Apostoli del Benessere de Bianchi, Apostles for White Wellbeing, della Ninja Azzurro, the Blue Ninja. All my warmest and best to each and every one out there. From the land of Idaho on Saturday today, this video is for Cindy Bin. Of course, I am a friend to all of Western kind, just as I know all of you are. folks dedicated to Cindy Ben here um, little James Taylor from 1971 the man with Carol King good old Western tunes Cindy Ben is a great writer and she's written two articles that she sent to me one was a while back and I told her I've been meaning to make a little video commentary on it. It's been a long time and I still haven't done that first one. And I promise I will do that. I'm still planning on it. Because these are really good articles. She just wrote another one and sent it to me the other day. So I'll start with this one. But before that, real quick. Of course, another little band for well-being here. On the other side of it, it says white positive. This is... <laughs> Not the best crafted band here, but White Wellbeing Inc. And just as a little intro, yesterday I tried to make this video. It didn't. It didn't uh, come out right. But I saw yesterday, um, last night, an ad on YouTube for a ride, a bicycle ride. To end ALZ, which I assume is Alzheimer's. And we know there's all kinds of events, usually athletic events, you know, bicycle rides, runs, marathons, whatever it may be. All kinds of events, you know, for a cause. We know these happen all the time. They're for a cause or they're against a disease, uh, things like that, you know in the health field and they're you know they do these events to raise a lot of funds for research treatment education about these diseases the cures etc so I thought okay wow how perfect would it be to have a ride to end anti-whitism this event that I saw was called literally Ride to End ALZ, which again I assume is Alzheimer's. All kinds of stuff like that we see, right? Ride to End Cancer, lots of stuff about cancer. And that's all fine. Now, how perfect would it be? And how fitting? And how apropos? And how necessary is it to have something that's going to end anti-whiteism? So how perfect would it be will it be to have a ride to end anti-whiteism anti-whiteism is the worst most prevalent disastrous 
devastating severe disease out there this is what needs the most effort and treatment by far of anything anything physical or mental ailment this is the number one killer of Western kind and decaying the world as a whole as we know it so this is what is necessary how perfect would it be ride or any kind of event to end, or run or whatever to end anti-whiteism sponsored by white well-being Inc you know something like that help me make this happen folks I want to make stuff like this happen I do have the, the entity white well-being Inc wearing it on my sleeve wearing it on my chest I do have the entity called well white well-being Inc you know and anyone else can make entities like this too so again it's not really an active business but it's an entity I mean I could use it theoretically to sponsor something like this so how about a ride to end anti-whiteism folks how about that let's make this happen seriously I'll sponsor it with White Wellbeing Inc. or anyone else can sponsor it with whatever other organization you want to create. We can make a long list of sponsors, participants, etc. So just just to start off with that. Now getting into Cindy's article, Cindy is a gifted writer. She writes at length. <laughs> and it's all really good stuff. So I'll hit the highlights and give my commentary here. And uh, Cindy has sent this article and the previous one several months back to her school district, school board. Um, it's about schools, anti-whiteism in schools. And she sent, this is the second article she sent to the school board that says, hey, you know, basically this anti-whiteism has got to stop. So to her credit, to Cindy's credit, very good job. This is the kind of stuff we need, folks, as we all know. Big time salutes and kudos to Cindy uh, for actually taking action. So she writes this uh, article specifically here about School of the West, which, as a lot of the Going Free people will know, um, is headed up by Brant Danger. Um, Brant Danger. And uh, so this is what the article is about. The title is School of the West Celebrates Dignity for All, Even Western Kind by Cindy. Now, I'm going to give a slight bit of critique. Overall, it's really good stuff. Um, I would modify something slightly. Um, this is a, you know, a very polite, very diplomatic article uh, to the credit of Cindy and Brant Danger and everyone involved. Uh, you know, me, I'm on the war path, just flat out. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is a war, and that's the way our stance needs to be, I think. So, you know, um, I would not be so... I would be a lot more direct and a lot more um, single-minded succinct so to start off with the title there's nothing wrong with it but I wouldn't even talk about all everybody you know school of the west celebrates dignity for all even western kind right away that to me that kind of puts western kind as last on the list I know that's not the intention uh, from you and Brant Cindy 
but that sounds to me like it's kind of like Western Kind's last on the list. For all, even Western Kind, let's just tack Western Kind on the end there. You know, last on the list. You know, we've already had way too much of that kind of last on the list treatment. We're just being eliminated from, eliminated from stuff. We need to be front and center number one for once. Uh, that's a hard thing for us to, to do, to relearn how to do, but that's what we got to do. So that title, first off, I wouldn't talk about all people at all. I would have one focus, and that is Western kind. One interest, the well-being and improvement of Western kind. That's it. I could give a rat's ass about non-Western kind, quite frankly. They can worry about themselves. They've done enough damage to us. They can go on their merry way and live happy lives. Or they can not live happy lives. And they can go straight to... Uh, down the tubes to their demise. I could care less either way. But that's up to them. Our well-being and our destiny is up to us. That's the only thing we, could, we have control over. That's what I'm concerned about. So, I would not have a title like that. Again, there's nothing wrong with it, but I would take the maybe less diplomatic approach, and I would say, School of the West celebrates dignity for Western kind, period. No mention of anyone else. My opinion, no need mention of anyone else. School of the West celebrates dignity for Western kind. That's it. We are concerned about one group of people, Western kind. That's it. Everyone else, not concerned about it, sorry. Not my business. Not what we're dealing with, not what I'm dealing with here. One goal, single-minded, one focus, one people, Western kind and the improvement thereof and the well-being achieved. So, you know, we're so conditioned, whites, it bugs me sometimes, whites are so conditioned to always talk about other people. Hey, I'm for everyone. And they might, they might, you know, include whites, a lot of uh, 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 Westerners. If they're feeling really gutsy, they might throw whites in there. But they're always conditioned. We gotta talk about everybody. We always have to include everybody. We constantly have to show our goodwill toward every non-white on planet Earth. Screw that, says the Blue Ninja. To hell with the non-whites. I don't care. Or, you know, to heaven with them. Wherever they go, I don't care. Just stay away from us and stop harming us. It's the only concern I have regarding them. Non-whites, go on your merry way. Do what you're going to do. Wish y'all the best. Stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. If you keep staying in our way, then we will continue to have a problem. Single-minded, single-focused, single people. Western kind. That's it. That's all I care about. We whites, every other race can say that. Except for whites have been so conditioned to always have to apologize and proselytize about their, their goodwill toward everyone. This is all conditioning, folks. Believe you me. This is all anti-white conditioning. It's all conditioning to condition whites to put your own people last. Consider everybody else except for yourself. That's why the whole everybody thing has always been there. What they don't say is it's everybody but whites, but that's what it is. So as soon as you say everybody, I'm I'm for everybody, blah, 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 you're automatically eliminating whites. Most people are. To say even Western kind is good, that's more than a lot of whites will do, because that that is, you know, taking a step forward to name and include whites in there. But still always including in the mix of everybody i to me that's pathogenic thinking just wish everyone else well that's all that need be said okay that's fine you don't have to constantly prove your goodwill 
toward everyone. Just, we're interested in our own well-being, you know, stopping the attacks and the harm against us. That's it. There's nothing wrong with that. Whites have got to get that through our heads. Um, and we need to focus, rather, not on proving that we're goodwill toward everyone, but we need to focus on others' feelings toward us, because that's where the problem lies. Others are anti-white. So we say, yeah, I'm concerned about... And I've said this to people on camera while wearing a no-white guilt shirt in um, Scottsdale, Arizona, walking around doing interviews, talking to a, 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 a couple of young ladies. I said, I'm in the business of helping whites, Western kind. I want to improve our well-being because we need it the most. You know what they said? Well, I, I'm, I'm, they said the same thing. Oh, well, I'm for everybody. They said, just whites? You're only helping whites? Like, that would be a problem. And they said, well, uh, they're for everybody, this thing. Pathogenic, in my opinion. I said, yeah, I'm interested. I'm focusing on whites because we need the most help. Uh, then I was asked to leave that restaurant by one of the uh, employees there because white positive conversations uh, are not allowed by some people so but I got my two cents in there so anyway that was once upon a time years ago but um, maybe I'll bring that video up and show it one of these times but um, I'm for western kind I'm for white well being that's it damn right you have a problem with that? Are you anti-white? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I, I, let, are you anti-white? That's what needs to be discussed. To anyone that has a problem with you serving your own people. And only your own people. And only being concerned with your own people. Anyone that has any issue with that. Probably is anti-white. And you focus on that. You're not going to prove anything to them. No, I'm not proving anything to you. I don't have to prove anything to you. You prove to me that you're not anti-white. I have won so many battles like that, folks. I have yelled louder than I'm yelling now. At the top of my lungs, I've yelled, You're anti-white. You're anti-white. You're anti-white at people when they've used anti-white slurs and they've shown that they're anti-white. I did it in Greece. Made a video about it. Wish I would have had it on uh, film. Some Indian couple that was living in Germany. I said, you should piss off, leave Germany, and go back to India. <laughs> they had a problem with that. They followed me, had some anti-white slurs to say to me, and I said, you're anti-white. I yelled it at the top of my lungs. Everyone in that place heard it. They walked away. I had the victory. You turn the conversation about, are they anti-white? That's all we're interested in. If they really prove that they're not anti-white, okay. Then we're okay then. If there's a smidgen of anti-whiteism, which usually there is, a lot more than that, then you tell them to take a hike. White well-being, Western kind, all the way, that's it. Single minded focus single people no apologies none of this talk about everyone no whites and only whites westerners and only westerners that is my focus that's the well-being i'm working for but how do you feel about non-whites i don't care <laughs> um so the conversation, the focus is always on whites of the West, as we can see. So sorry I got off so much on that. Probably not going to have time to go through much of this. But um, anyway, it's a fairly lengthy article. And I got off on just the title. But to summarize, Cindy basically describes the school and some of the contributions people have made talking about there's there's lots of different groups of people all over the earth asian arab african jewish indian amerindian european peoples um
talks about using the term Western kind. That's great. Rather than European or just white. It's great. So Cindy just writes this. You know, ask Cindy for this article if you're interested. I'm sure she'll send it to you. Um, and just kind of describing what Brandt Danger has done, the curriculum, and some of the other contributors. Jason Kuna, obviously, has contributed a lot, has talked to Brandt Danger on, on his show, No White Guilt Channel, and all that stuff. Fantastic. And uh, and they, they have the name for uh, Brandt Danger as Dean Danger. That is cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Dean Danger of the School of the, School of the West. And man, is it ever necessary to have our own school, home school. We all know this. It is, it is very necessary. Oh my gosh. We all know this. But I've read some articles. And conveniently enough, after this, Cindy, just yesterday, I noticed an article, a mainstream article, about a, a middle school, I think, in Colorado. Some smaller town in Colorado. Um an article about some of the teachers protesting some of the curriculum. Now I thought, well, maybe they're white positive teachers who are sort of leaning that way. But these teachers protesting the curriculum were actually anti-white. And that's why they got the attention on a mainstream article. That's why they got their voice heard. And this was a rare school that is actually, you know, a conservative school town, I presume, where the school board uh, director is actually trying to take a stand and get rid of some of this equity, diversity, inclusion, social justice, and all this other anti-white junk. Getting rid of some of the sickness that's being pushed on kids. This one school taking a little bit of a stand. This dean, this uh, school board director sounds like a good guy. Ken Witt. Talk about him a little bit later. In this school district, Woodland Park, I think, in Colorado. Sounds like he's actually trying to do something decent. And these, these teachers just, you know, I think a lot of them female, protested the fact that this school board director wanted to uh, get rid of the diversity, equity, and inclusion, social justice, and all, you know, the LB, LGBTQ and all this other just disgusting anti-white trash. He, want, he got rid of a lot of that and reinstated actual American you know, a course about real American civics and stuff that's, you know, more real American history. And, um, sounded decent to me. And, uh, you know, making some steps in the right direction. And these anti-white teachers, you know, rebel, wrote a letter collectively to the school board, and they get the publicity on the mainstream news. So, I want to cover that article later um but it shows we're making headway but the anti-whites are always going to have the spotlight in the mainstream they're always going to try to fight back it's sick it's just it's pitiful the arguments they use but anyway this um you know cindy describes beautifully detail you know the school of the west brain danger the curriculum some of the different aspects of it again this concept dignity for all even western kind it's fine you know everyone uses that it's it's okay you know, if somebody does talk about everyone, then you can, then that's a good thing to use. Yeah, I support the dignity for everyone, even Western kind, even white people. You know, if that's the way the conversation is about everyone, add in whites or Western kind, and that's, that's good. That's a good way to handle it. But as far as you opening the conversation or titling the school, you know, something that we are creating just ourselves, I would create something and say, you know, if it was my school, it'd be School of the West, for the West, for Western kind, period. That's it. We're like, we're living on our own planet. Um, but when someone else is talking about that they believe in goodwill, dignity for all, and that they're saying that, and you, you are have the chance to respond, that's where I think that's good as more of a response to someone that's talking about all people, all humanity, blah, blah, blah. If there, someone else is talking about that, then you can say, yeah, well, I agree. You always want to agree with that. Of course, dignity for all. Of course, well-being for all. Even Western kind. Even white people, right? 
sir or ma'am, that's where you put them on the spot. Because a lot of times they're excluding whites implicitly. So she just goes on detail here that the school is, you know, linked to uh, going free a lot um, by the great Jason Kuna, of course, the methods, the language, concept of Western kind. Um, absolutely brilliant. So, and it just talks about, you know, Cindy brilliantly elaborates on the different terms we use, why they're good, you know, Western kind, white positive, bio spirit, and uh, white well-being and all these things, no white guilt. Um, so, okay, here's an example quickly of uh, a, a sort of an anti-white uh, comment and a response. Now, this is again, Cindy, you know, very nice, polite person for sure. Um, you know, God bless you, dear sister. I really love you to pieces as a, as a Western sister. Uh, appreciate all your support and, and love that you throw my way. So nothing but love for you, Cindy. Um, and, uh, you know, every approach has its place. You know, there's the Blue Ninja approach may not always be the best. And then, you know, the Cindy approach may be best in certain scenarios. So, you know, all of us together with our talents and predispositions is what we need and what will bring us our destiny again. But she gives an example beautifully. This is all such great material uh, of sort of an anti-white comment and then a response. Now, my response... Cindy being polite, or the person who wrote this being very polite, like a lot of people in, in the white positive spheres are. Too polite, in my opinion. Um, it gives this a very polite, overly polite response, I would say. I would just I'll offer my um, response right after. But just a little example. This was from Final Blossom that Cindy writes. Any going free crowd will know Final Blossom. Sorry, this is not uh, the section I thought it was. The Great Westman, that's one of the courses. There's STEM, there's mathematics, science in this school. It's just amazing curriculum. I'm blown away. Big tip of the hat to Brant Danger and everyone involved. Okay, here's the scenario. Anti-white sayings, quote, slavery enriched white people. Common anti-white narrative. Here's a curative that's offered here. If slavery enriched a citizenry, all countries would be rich. That was an example of a meme pathogen and a meme curative. Uh, that was explained by James, I think, a contributor to uh, this school of the West. Now, <laughs> this is my... Uh, my um, response will be a lot shorter. A lot more direct. If anyone ever said to me, slavery and rich white people, which I've heard quite a bit, big common anti-white narrative, I would not say if slavery enriched a citizenry, all countries would be rich, which is true because all countries have used slaves. It's still going on today, in fact. Um, and Western kind has done the least of it by far, that's for sure. We've been the slaves way too much of history. But if anyone says that to me, uh, slavery and rich whites, 
I'd say that's the anti-white narrative. You anti-white piece of trash. So that's, how's that for a summary? That's all I would say to something like that. God bless you all. Stay strong. Stay white positive, white free, white protective, and white proud. And long live the West. White Wellbeing, Inc.